Hey guys, so here are Google's new logos and they've been making their rounds and overall people are not happy with them. But I want to talk about why, what are the problems, what are the underlying aesthetic principles, and then talk about how understanding what's going on here can actually help us be better designers. So the two main aesthetic principles in play here are diversity and unity. So whenever you're designing anything, you always have to pay attention to balancing diversity and unity. You want things diverse so that they will delight and be able to distinguish one from another. But you also want unity so you can see those things as one. And clearly Google here has leaned more into the unity side. These icon sets, these new icon sets, are much more unified than the previous icon sets, which were more diverse. Now, it's important to understand what happens when you overemphasize diversity or unity. So, if you overemphasize unity and you lack diversity, what happens is that you lose the ability to distinguish between the icons and delight. Because part of the delightfulness of a thing is its particularities. That's the thing that makes it itself. So you, you're, you're unable to delight the user but also you're unable to distinguish them. Everything starts running together and they don't, you don't see the differences. Now, if you focus too much on diversity, then you will lose the ability to see all the icons as part of one brand, to see them as one. So if we look at what Google has done here, clearly they have swung the pendulum over to unity. These icons are far more unified, but if you focus too much on unity and you're not balanced with diversity, you lose the ability to distinguish and delight. So that's clearly what's happening. People are reacting because they're unable to distinguish them. They all look very similar and they're not terribly delightful. Now, with respect to distinguishing, there's one tool when you're designing to help you answer whether your icons are too similar, and that is you can blur them. And if you blur them, you can you can see are the shapes and are the colors fairly similar? That is, have you not modified enough properties of the icons to make them distinct enough. So you can see here that all of these new icons look very similar when they're blurred. It's hard to tell them apart. And remember, when you are designing for a user interface especially, but anything, it's very important to remember that people aren't paying close attention to icons. They are primarily for use. They want to get to this app and just click on it. So you want to reduce as much cognitive load as possible. And if it's hard to tell icons apart, then that means you have to look more closely and the cognitive load has gone way up. So when you are designing, make sure that you're asking yourself, is this too diverse or is this too unified or is there a good harmony? Is there a good balance between these two aesthetic properties? Now, my next video is going to be a more positive video and it's going to be about this icon right here because there's actually a work of genius going on here and it's a beautiful icon. And so check out that video. It's going to be out tomorrow. All right, guys, thanks so much. Let me know if you have any questions or your thoughts on these icon sets and I'll see you later.